this device is an electro-vibrowave ionic and uh, ultrasonic test repeller. Uh, I don't know, these cost like... I forget exactly how much this cost me. I think it was about $30. Um, I, know, I found it someplace online. If anybody cares where that is, you can send me an email or something. I'll tell you where to find one of these. But um, you plug this thing into the wall. It's got a little uh, outlet on the back there. And uh, it, puts a, it puts a frequency into the power, uh, the power lines of your house that bugs out the bugs, they can't stand it, and so they'll just crawl out of your house, they'll leave. And, um, I don't know, uh, when I looked this up, it said it was effective against, uh, like, bed bugs, termites, everything, everything, every type of bug basically hates to sit and listen to this type of device, and so it's just a, it's a way that you can keep bugs out of your house. Uh, so you don't have to bug aside, kill so many bugs. Um, I don't know, uh, as far as ethics goes, regarding, I don't know, fly life, um, I think what's respected, uh, and what is respectable, is that, uh, as best you can, not suffer these beings that you don't. You know, if you, if you, uh, hit one and, you know, it's like wriggling, like it's gonna, uh, like it's in a lot of pain, you know, maybe take the thing home and, uh, you know, put some, uh, honey in front of it and, you know, a little bit of water or something and, put, uh, you know, keep it in a jar. But, um, I don't know, uh, most people, they're probably not going to nurse the bugs back to health, but, um, I don't know, just, uh, to not suffer them as best you can. You know, obviously you say, uh, Nessaloo. Uh, who primarily this video is for, but um, I don't know for anybody who's uh, looking to repel bugs from uh, from their homes, the explanation of the device. But um, yeah, Nessalu, if um, I don't know, as far as like ethical treatment of bugs, the best is really to to do your best not to injure them. And if you can do that by just simply plugging uh, plugging a thirty dollar device into your wall, and then you know, not to be bothered with the bug aside, then, um, I don't know, it's like the preferable option. Um, it's probably some way to, uh, I don't know, uh, cause your computer to, to put the signal into the wall. It would require some software or something like that. Um, I don't know, the, com uh, the computer already has a plug. It might need to be a, a more robust uh, cable than what comes with the computer or something like that, but uh, I don't know, it's just a, uh, to create a frequency and to send that into a power cord. That's a, that's a whole trick of the matter to reject the bugs and then to know the frequencies that it is that they detest. But, um, yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm going to finish with this bit of knowledge about me and my family. My mom... Uh, she is a bug murderer. She, uh, she cares not in the least to tolerate any type of bugs, ants, uh, it, in the house. You know, she won't go out and find ants to kill, but if a bug makes it in the house, my mom will kill it. Um, I don't know, that's how she used to be in any case. Uh, I've seen flies in this house much now that, um, I haven't seen her chasing around smacking, but, um... Yeah, I don't know, there's, uh, maybe even my mom's caught on to, uh, the, you know, non bug -aside life. <laughs> I wanted to, um, to record, uh, an exception to this, that, uh, that you tolerate bugs, which is, um, that they are potentially egregiously injurious to you, and... They're trying to perform whatever action it is that uh, it is that will uh, affect this injury. Um, I don't know, for instance, scabies. You know, you don't try to round up the scabies to, to get them off of you. I mean, if there was ever a possibility to make that happen, then maybe, yeah, sure. But, you know, it seems to me that there's no treatment to round up the scabies and to send them to a camp. So, um, I don't know, beyond that, you know, what else might uh, be a potentially very injurious bug? Uh, 
a mosquito, potentially carrying West Nile virus, potentially carrying malaria. Um, and uh, greatly it depends on your area, uh, where it is that you are located, that this mosquito has landed on you, or there's swarms of mosquitoes that are trying to, uh, to land on you. Um, what I found uh, recently, one time, being at, uh, I don't know, being in an open woodsy area, uh, I had my whole self covered with uh, rain protective gear, basically, and, um, I don't know, my face was exposed, I put a couple sprays of DEET on my face, uh, I still, the mosquitoes were coming at me, and so I still was pushing them off, I was just knocking them away from me, with air, usually, mostly, and, um, there was, let's see, I was knocking the mosquitoes away with air, and then, uh, I came to notice that all of them had stopped coming to me after I had pushed each one of them away a couple times, it took, but then, for the whole area of mosquitoes that realized that I had deed on my face, that it was not really easy to bite through my clothes, and for me to push them away so many times that they became frustrated, that they really just went the other way and tried to uh, nuisance some other being. But, um, you know, as far as, uh, like, beings like mosquitoes, to tolerate mosquitoes, I don't think that that's uh, really the best call, uh, the best way of going about dealing with the mosquito issue. Um, you know, what I think would be best, really, is to uh, genetically modify the mosquito over several generations to have and uh, a mouth that was incapable of biting, maybe some huge lips on the end of the uh, sucker that they have, and so they're uh, incapable of plunging the sucker, and so they have to struggle flying up to a feeder, and um, I don't know, uh, maybe not struggle, maybe make the lips small enough that they're not, uh, I don't know, so much weight for the mosquito to carry with the mosquito's size wings, but, um, you know, to modify the mosquitoes to be not potentially injurious to people. Um, I don't know, uh, there's other solutions that the malaria could be eradicated, I don't know, the, the West Nile virus could be eradicated, um, I don't know, that could be done by an oxidative medical process throughout wild areas, especially where malaria is raging, and, um, I don't know, whatever other uh, infectious diseases are spread by mosquitoes, mosquito, West Nile virus being one of them. Uh, I don't know, I think that's all I really have to say about bugs. <laughs> Something else I decided um, I wanted to say about bugs. Doesn't it bug you when you see these huge belly little malnourished children starving to death on the plains of Africa and they got protein sitting on their face and flying around their head and you know they don't bother to even look at these bugs much less you know gather them up and uh, fry them you know uh, they could uh, learn how to build a fire with two sticks and a string and you know then uh, they would have some fried protein um, instead they sit there starving of course eating bugs is not the best solution for their issue really um, that would be something like um, maybe automated agriculture and um, I don't know, the, the study of the tending of fields widely, especially, um, I don't know, irrigation and, uh, know, tilling, uh, what else, what else is there to learn? Uh, sowing in the harvest. I don't know, uh, I don't know, the harvest is really something, uh, that has been greatly automated for very many years, and so, um, I don't know, that really, uh, the, the study of the harvest would be the study of the harvesting technology, of course, right? Um, the study of all of that, uh, would be the study of the technology that would best perform that, and, um, in my estimation, that would be on rails, you know, right, uh, right now, they got a bunch of, um, little tractors with, like, uh, tires and, uh, I don't know, like, uh, internal combustion engines, stuff like this. Um, I don't know, uh, I think that, uh, ultimately it should all be, uh, electrically automated on a rail, the farming, but, um, I don't know, so, you know, the, the eating of the bugs, um, I don't know, I was, uh, most, mostly I was just making a joke with that, but, um, I don't know, uh, it's, you know, it, it's certainly, um, it's something that if I thought my survival depended on it, I would eat the bugs, but, um, obviously for me, you know, surrounded by vegetation, you know, if really all the vegetation that's around me was gone, I think my problems would be a little bit deeper than, you know, whether I was going to eat bugs today or not. So, um, yeah, I don't know. There's a, you know, that's a, that's a immediate solution for that issue is what is already there, the vegetation that's out there on these trees and whatnot. Much of it is edible.